our grade four to six students completed the wellbeing survey along with grade four to 12 students around the state. It's a way for the department to see the wellbeing of all students across the domains and it's a way for our school to see areas for growth across our student wellbeing. I think wellbeing lays the foundation for a healthy student and without students having a positive sense of wellbeing in a holistic sense then I don't think they're able to achieve and reach those academic heights that they're able to unless they've got that positive sense of wellbeing. Um, I remember finding it pretty interesting. It kind of um, asked some questions that you don't usually think of on a day-to-day -day basis. So it got a little bit soul searchy at times, which was interesting. Um, for me, wellbeing is kind of like how you feel or what your emotions are and sometimes even your actions, I think. I think student wellbeing links to learning because it's the prerequisite for high levels of participation and engagement in the activities that teachers provide every day. Well, I think they want to find out about my well-being just to make sure everything's okay and I feel safe at school or safe at home. Knowing that I can help people and people can help me by answering the survey because that helps everybody. We as educators and leaders in schools have a critical role in supporting students from kindergarten all the way through to year 12 to make healthy lifestyle choices and understand the consequences of lifelong well-being. For too long we've relied on attendance data as a way of gauging how students may be travelling or the I know we think comments about them, but now we have some clear data to work with school-wide and also statewide. Um, I think it's in the best interest of like staff and students to you know, find out trends relating to like mental and physical health around the school. We have a number of activities and initiatives in the school that focus on wellbeing. Wellbeing is actually part of our school improvement plan as a priority and so it is a whole school focus. The number of activities and initiatives that we operate over the course of a year is significant. The most important focus that we have across the year is teachers talking to students about wellbeing, what that feels like and what that looks like and creating a feedback culture about how well we are. Yeah, I did enjoy it. I thought it was really interesting, like the questions that they asked. It really made me think about like, myself and what I actually thought. We've been very lucky to be a trial school last year with a student wellbeing survey, and so we're actually able to gather data and start planning for school improvement this year. We have wellbeing and engagement as our number one priority, and we've been putting a whole host of strategies in place to support student voice and participation in their learning. Moving forward from the data that we've collected this year, um, we'll be going back to our students and asking them what other actions do we need to take in order for them to feel safe, belong um, and be a part of you know, a um, healthy community here at Taruna. Yeah, so currently since getting the data we've, we've had a look at our executive level, attended a professional learning session, uh, once unpacking the data ourselves, I've worked with our student services team and our pastoral care cohort of teachers to unpack and look at trends and what potential actions we can implement next year. Um, I've also consulted with our school association to get some feedback on them and I'm having a meeting later in the year to unpack it further. And we'll also run a short workshop with our high academic students to get their insights and feedback on the surprises that came out of the data, um, trends that they think were there and where they think we can have the biggest impact moving forward. Communicating the survey data is probably one of the most important parts of um, actually being involved in the survey process. We also thought about um, creating our own school poster um, which is this, the poster that was created by the wellbeing team of the department and putting our own school data on that. Um, our grades four to six students will also work on a, a, a presentation at one of our assemblies so that all students across the school can be aware of the data and the things that we as a community are working on. Our newsletters and our Facebook page will also play a part, but specific classroom focuses for our grades four to sixes will be very important and our wellbeing committee will drive those. Um, a lot is said about preconditions for learning and the most important precondition for learning is wellbeing. If students come to school hungry or tired or they're unable to speak to an important adult, then students aren't able to learn. So we need to provide opportunities for our students to be able to speak to us and to have all they need to be able to learn.